like my lips are always freaking crusty. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Do y'all know it's something a little different? Do y'all? Okay, I got like new lighting. Um, it needed to be done. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and just like get in front of the camera. Something a little bit more therapeutic, you know, just watching y'all. Um, just for y'all to see me, how I do my hair. Nobody asked for this, but you know what? I wanted to post it. So um, I might at this point just do like a voiceover. My hair routine is so easy. I feel like most of my anything, if you watch any of my videos or maybe there's not enough yet to figure out who I am and whatever. If a, there's anything you need to know about me is like, I don't like doing, not like a lot. It's just, it's not like doing a lot. It's just like, I like to keep things simple. Um, and so, and it's not like a bad thing. It's just, that's what I prefer especially when it comes to my hair. So anyway, um, yeah. So I washed my hair yesterday and I had a hairstylist, you know, she she does like curly cuts and things like that um, or whatever. And she was telling me how I need to start blow drying my hair more. Meaning like if I wet my hair, cause my main style that I do is wash and goes, like I get in the shower and I wet my hair and I just use a deep, like a leave-in conditioner and detangle and I'll shake my hair and I'll call it a day. Um, but I was thinking about, you know, I have a blow dryer, but I just never really use it. So I tend to use this head. I tend to use this head for like drying my hair a little bit, just 80%. Um, a lot of people and scientists say that too, like it's best to blow dry a little bit and not walk around with wet hair. I feel like that might change for me in the summertime. I'm sorry, but when it's like 99 degrees outside in New York City and I wet my hair, when that breeze hit, which is very rare when it's 90 degrees here in the city, it just feels so good. So yeah, like scientifically, like I understand, but at the same time, I'm like maybe not when it's 100 degrees outside New York City. And I know it's probably gonna reach like 103 degrees. I already see it coming. I already do, I already do. So it's a Friday night, you know, I have therapy next and I'm just, and I'm wearing my leggings and this comfy sweater and I'm just gonna be, I washed my hair, but I took a shower today and I wet my hair again. Um, I know I wasn't supposed to let it dry by itself, but you know what? It is what it is. So I'm just going to take these braids out. I need to trim so bad. The detangling my hair has been taking so long for no reason. So I'm just going to like take these out. And I used Kinky Curly Not Today, if that's the correct name. Oh, so moisturized. Oh, do y'all see? Oh, yes. All I need is a trim and it will be good. All I need is a trim. Honestly, I could wear my hair like this. But the thing is like, I, I've been wearing my hair more like braided or something just because I just feel like it's easier. I feel like my hair... It's just like, it's less likely to tangle up and knot up, especially because I need a trim. So I've just been more prone to not wearing wash and goes, especially because it's also cold outside. But honestly, I think it's because it's just like, my hair needs a trim. The last time I got a trim was April of last year. So April, 2022, like April 1st, I got a trim um, and it was amazing. And y'all, if you've never gotten a trim and you have textured hair, especially kinky, hair get a trim y'all it is life-saving <laughs> like it helps detangling so much okay this is cute dang it the whole point of this video is me to blow dry my hair what's the point of this now see it's cute now because it's still a little wet you know but i know the shrinkage is not gonna look as good on me like literally right now it's like laying nicely unless I blow dry it like I blow dry it with using the um, yeah, I can use a diffuser head and like leave this out but honestly like it's a Friday night I'm not going anywhere and I don't really like want to wear my hair out this is cute though my go-to is just wearing like two braids and then like use a bobby pin in the back and call it a day but this is very cute just for the moment but we're just gonna just blow dry the hair a little bit and then I might honestly I was thinking like is there an actual style I had in mind no I don't <laughs> <laughs> 
So it looks like I'm just gonna be blow drying my hair because it needs to be blow dried and then I might just braid it back up. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I am honestly just, you see that? You see that? Oh my gosh. Yep, it's a knot. Like my hair, like my ends are so knotty, like literally like K-N-O-T-T-Y. Like I just have so many knots in my hair because I haven't gotten a trim in like almost a year now. So with this one specifically, because of like my split ends, I can't imagine how many split ends I have at this point. Um, and also like my hair literally was pretty detangled, but I feel like for some reason as it is drying up and with all the terrible ends, it's just not doing so well. So I honestly wasn't too focused on getting that super blown out look. I don't really focus too much on that. Um, but then clearly here I am just like brushing and the head came off. Like literally y'all, this blow dryer is so dramatic. It wasn't even that crazy. Like my hair was not even that super like you know <clears throat> i don't know like it just it wasn't even that hard to detangle but the head just kept on coming off and i think for some reason i th I could i think like the heat just like over time okay brenda okay yeah don't do that but anyway yeah i'm just like at this point using my hands and just stretching it and just making sure that my roots are dry which is my main concern um and just making my hair stretch but not like super stretched like super blown um. out because i don't really <laughs> care too much for that okay since i will so. be putting it back in like braids maybe this could be like my thumbnail okay this is a bit much now my hair is dry and now i can go back to my little cornrows whatever those braids that i had in peace with my anyway my hair is detangled i need to trim really badly that's just something that I need to find time and money to do because the way these prices are, um, I literally went to, um, I'm blanking out on this like guy's name, but y'all definitely might have heard of him. Um, but he is like, I mean, literally an artist, like when it comes to curly hair, textured hair, um, literally all of that any texture like he's like i'm blinking on his name but he has a salon here in new york and i like went to him for the first time in april and it was expensive i mean just for transparency like it was a 200 dollars haircut um but you would get to walk out with like a curly style or like a straight style so i haven't really had my hair straightened since like i would say middle school <laughs> So I was like, I'll just do a straight style. And this was like in April, it was still kind of chilly out. And it was cute, you know, but his approach though to cutting hair is that he um, straight, not straightens it, but he stretches it. Like he blow dries your hair and then he trims it. Cause he thinks that, um, I'm blinking on this man's name. I'm so sorry. I might have it in the bio or somewhere in the screen here. But his whole thing is like, especially with my kinky hair, um, it's just hard to see you know like what needs to be trimmed and you know what i mean so that's his whole approach i kind of liked it more because i feel like i went to this woman to get a kinky curly cut and i feel like every time i went sis was taking out way much more because i had it on my calendar where i was going to her for like every i was going to her the first year i went to her i went to her like every three months yeah because i had never had a trim before in my life and so she was like you know coming to me every three months and i felt like it got to a point where even after I was going to her consistently, she was taking out more than she needed to because she couldn't see. So that's just what I prefer. And so I think that, you know, Dickie, Dickie, I feel like, you know, um, Dickie from Hair Rules Salon, he was able to like see exactly what needed to be trimmed. And even according to him, which is kind of iffy because when you keep going, you know, one artist will say something else, but I told him about the approach, you know, he, he doesn't like the kinky curly cut idea. He thinks that, you know, he thinks it's, he prefers to like, you know, stretch the hair or, you know, straighten it or whatever. And then you can kind of see. And he was, he was like looking at my ends and he was like, mm, they don't look that good. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick to the Dickies, you know, um, approach where my hair is stretched, like blow dried and you can see it and you can trim it. Um, so that was something. But anyway, so this is it. 
So I need for my hairbrush, but I'm just gonna comb this. Oops. I think this is cute. I don't know. I'm like, it's not like the neatest braids, but it's just, I think it looks cute and elegant. I love how puff, puffy my hair is too. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the back is not as straight, I don't think, but it's the front that matters. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me um, and watching me do whatever I just did to my hair. Um, and yeah, I've missed you all. And yeah, feel free to comment what you do to your hair if you have textured hair because I, I love having these conversations of what people do to their hair. I really find it fascinating. And yeah, do you also keep a simple routine? Or do you do like 10 steps? I wanna know, what products are you we using in our hair in 2023? Um, I'm like, if it, don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? I'm gonna go and I will see you on the next one. Bye.